today we are going to do a Pilates workout that focuses mainly on your hips, loosening them up, getting the synovial fluid moving through your joints, and strengthening them. So if that's what you need, then let's get into it. So we're going to start on your backs, if it feels good, then hug your knees into your chest and rock it out side to side for a little low back massage. And then you're going to come out to a nice long spinal elongation, making as much space as you can between your fingertips and your toes. <sighs> Take a deep breath in here. And exhale out through the mouth as you hug your right knee into your chest. Inhale, lengthen that leg out. And exhale, hug the left knee in. Inhale, lengthen out. And exhaling through the mouth, inhaling through the nose is technical Pilates breathing. So the idea is that every time you exhale, you're engaging the diaphragm to press down into the abdominal wall. Exhale right. So each time you inhale, you lengthen even more. And each time you exhale, you open your low back, loosening up through the hips. Now we're going to loosen up through the backs of the legs. So it's the same thing, but you're going to flex that leg straight up. Give it a hug and then inhale, lengthen down. And exhale the left leg up, flex it. Inhale, lengthen down. Make sure you're exhaling as the leg comes up. And that'll help you loosen up faster than you can even believe. We're gonna do one more time each side. Exhale the right leg. Inhale, lengthen down. And left leg. And inhale, lengthen down. Go ahead, hug your knees into your chest. So this time, instead of rocking it out side to side, what we're going to do is take your hands just on top of the knees where the knees meet in your shins and take the knees in towards your chest, out around and together. In, exhale, out around and together. And if you feel like you really would like more of a range of motion, just take your arms down on an angle, palms down, chest open. You'll feel your core activate more, and you'll feel that your low back wants to plant itself into the ground and then move away from the ground. That's good. You're massaging through the low back as you stir the thigh bones in your hip sockets. So really good for both your low back and your hips. And we're going to switch directions, circle out, around, and in, and out, around, and in, out, around, and in, out, around, and in, four, remember, let it move through your low back, three, so it moves away from and into the floor, two, and a one. Now we're going to start with an exercise that I like to call the letter D. For more stabilization, you can keep your hands here. If you want to work your core more, you take your hands behind your head. I'm going to flex that right leg away from you and keep the left foot planted down into the ground. Now first, before we begin, go ahead and kick that leg up and see how high it goes without letting your hip come up like that. Now I'm over exaggerating, but this is the most common mistake I see in Pilates classes is that people are lifting the hips. So anchor it down. It's more important to keep it anchored down than it is to kick yourself in the face. So you're going to kick, but do it with that hip anchored down. So you exhale up, point the foot and circle it down. Exhale. So you do a big out to the side, half circle, three. And the trick is to keep that left hip still and anchored down as you circle that leg out to the side and circle it down. 
and circle it down. Two more this direction. Seven, circle it down. Eight, now you're going to reverse it. So exhale, circle it up. Inhale that leg down. Exhale, circle it up. Inhale it down. Circle it up and down. Circle it up halfway through this way. Circle it up and flex it down. Three more, circle it up. Flex it down, keep that left hip anchored. Two, and flex it down. And one, and flex it down. Woo, good for the thighs too. Not just your hips. So flex out that left leg. And again, we'll do that test. So leg goes up as high as it'll go while keeping that left hip anchored. So go ahead and take it down. You're gonna exhale to flex it up and point it out, around, and down. And the right knee wants to go out to the side. Try not to let it flex up two, and point it down. Flex up three, point it down. Flex up four, point it down. Five, and down. Six, and down, and down. And we're going to reverse it so it goes and flex it down. And oh, I kicked the wall. My leg is getting longer because I wasn't kicking the wall a minute ago. And down. Whoa, four. Sorry, wall. And down. And down. Three more. And down. And down. I'm trying to go slower so I don't kick the wall. Hello. All right. Woo! Shake that out. So you're gonna let the left leg come out long. Hug the right knee into the chest. So our next hip exercise, awesome for the hips, is you're gonna exhale that leg up. Give it a stretch. Inhale, bend. Exhale. And bend. And this one stays up. So from here, I'm gonna scoot. We're gonna be a little bit tricky. So flex your left foot, keep your right foot pointed. The left leg is going to anchor down, press down into the ground. Your right leg is going to point straight up to the ceiling or it could even be a little bit further away from you if you need to take it down in order to get it nice and straight. If it's bent, you just can't straighten it, then notice how bent it is and don't let it get more bent as we move through the exercise. So here we are, flex, point. You're gonna press your right hip further down your body so you have an even amount of distance between your hips and your ribs on both sides of your body. Now, I suggest putting your hands down by your sides if you really want a challenge, you can take your hands behind your head. So the goal is to move the thigh bone in the hip socket, which then circles the leg, without letting anything else move. So your low back stays in neutral. Your left hip, your left leg does not go anywhere. So we're going to start with small circles. Exhale as that leg moves away from you. Keep that thigh tight, as tight as you can. Start to make the circles bigger. Four. It's like, should feel like stirring through molasses. Three. Two. And one. Switch directions and start small again. The left leg should get tired just from holding your place. And circle, start to circle it a little bigger. Super tight thigh, make it work. And start to dip it a little bit lower. And, and, 
bigger circle. And two. And one. Leave it up. Deep breath in. Exhale, hug the knee into your chest. Deep breath in. And exhale, guide that leg across with your left hand. Deep spinal twist helps release all the lactic acid. Good for your back too. And then come back to the center. So right leg out long on the floor. Hug your left knee in. Big stretch. Give it a hug. Going off the mat. And exhale, lengthen it up. Give it a little pull. Inhale down. Exhale up. This one stays here. Go ahead, keep this foot pointed. Flex your right leg. So that right thigh, think of the inner thigh pulling in and down. Help you stay anchored in that one spot. Point the toe straight up or even away from you on an angle. Wherever you have to be in order to get that thigh as tight as possible. Your low back is in neutral, so it's a little bit off the floor, but not overarched. And then you want to press the left hip further down away from you so you're even. The space between your hips and your ribs is even on both sides of your body. Hands down by your sides. Start with a small circle, stirring the thigh bone in the hip socket. And... And... Without anything else moving, you exhale as the leg moves away from you. Try to keep the tension out of your shoulders and your neck, even though your shoulders are pressing down to help keep you anchored. Start to scoop that leg a little further away from you. And, and do you hear the mice in the background? It's my husband. <laughs> Switch directions. And circle. Keep your neck long. Big circle. Bigger. Let that leg come further away from your body. Stirring molasses. And two. And one. Leave it up. And exhale, hug the knee into your chest. Deep breath in, and exhale, guide that leg across with your right hand, look over your left shoulder. And hug your knees in, moving right along. So for this one, we're going to be on our hands and knees. Go ahead, in order to find neutral in this position, go ahead and arch your back. So you're extending your spine and then flex your spine. And then come down right in the middle right there. So your hands kind of wide on your mat, right knee to the center of the mat. You're going to circle the left thigh bone in the hip socket. So big circle. And try to do this without doing a big hula dance through the center. You are going to move a little through your center, but try to keep it to a minimum. So the idea is you are working, you're loosening up that left hip while you're building strength in your right hip, the one that's supporting you. We're going to switch directions. So out, around, and in. Always aiming to get the knee higher than your foot. <sighs> Switch directions again, so front, out, around, and down, eight, seven, Can you keep connecting the breath, three, say that ten times fast, four, five, six, seven, eight, switch directions, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and 
10 to 1. Stretch your hips back onto your heels. Get a nice stretch. Pushing the floor away from you with your hands. And then come back. Up onto all fours. Inhale, extend your spine. Exhale, flex your spine. And then find that neutral position. Hands kind of wide on the mat. Left knee to the center of the mat. Keep your belly pulling up. And circle that right knee in, around, and down. Two. Three. Try to stay as centered as possible. Four. Five. Six. So you're working stability and strength in that standing leg. And switch directions. Out, around, and in. And two. Wow, you're actually lubricating the joint on the moving leg. Five, it's all good stuff. Six, seven, switch directions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, switch directions. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stretch your hips back onto your heels. Push the floor away. Make all that space between your fingertips and your tailbone. Now, I can tell you, if you want to keep going with loosening up the hips, then matching this up with the leg video, the leg Pilates video, I'll link to it right here, um, perfect complement to this video. So if you're done for the day, you're out of time, totally fine. But if you have it in you, try the leg video. I guarantee you're going to love it. And I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye for now. Thank you so much for working out with me. Now before you go, make sure to sign on up for my free online class that will teach you how to create any healthy habit and make it stick so that you never end up back at square one. Go ahead and sign up at MirandaMatthewson.com forward slash habits. It's totally free. I will see you in the class.